I'm inside my wife Fran's Toyota Yaris at an auction site southwest of London. Fingers crossed, we might have found the next car. It's mine! I'm trying to think how many car reveals I've done in the last 12 months at this uh, forestry centre in Derbyshire. I think we're up to three. Now, if you're regular viewers of the channel or maybe you just follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you might be thinking, is this finally the Japanese one because I've got a JDM import coming? It's not. Although I'll give you a clue. If it was, I'd be down at this height. Work that bit out for yourself. Now, this car is actually going to be the most important car to me on the channel now of course if you saw this video when i collected millie the mg metro my mg metro was and still is my favorite car favorite car it's the one i have the most memories of when i was younger back in 1990 but this one is the most important car and you'll see why in a second so to give you a little quick story my now late father he didn't start driving till quite late in life so originally or initially he just had a Honda C70 moped with uh, L plates on the back. Honda C70 moped isn't particularly good for family transport, is it? When he eventually did pass his test, he bought the car that the camera is currently sitting on the roof of now. Now the car he bought actually had a different make and a different model name. It's actually really the same car. Confused. It also was red, although when it originally turned up it was like in a primer grey colour also had a white bonnet also had a lot of rust also wasn't the most reliable so although this car let's give it a registration number pol 587 g although we have no pictures of my late father's car there will be pictures somewhere in the world because a friend of mine or should i say his father that used to live over the road from where my parents lived he used to seem to almost enjoy being able to take photos outside out from out the bedroom window secretly Every time my father's car came back on the back of an RAC recovery truck. Now at the time I thought that was a little bit um, a bit silly, but now I'd just like to have access to one of those photos. But anyway, I obviously have fond memories of traveling in this car. It would be around, I guess, 1974, 75, maybe 1976. So I would only have been about seven, eight or nine years of age. You will see therefore why this car is just so important to me now this is the first car to join the fleet that is mot and tax exempt now what that means is in the uk i no longer have to have the vehicle mot which is like just a test to see that it's all in good order although we'll be keeping it in good order of course and i no longer have to pay road fund license or vehicle tax to use it on the road happy days among the many happy memories i have of traveling around in this car as a youngster is how can i say one of the many faults that these cars and i guess many cars of that age suffered from and that was water ingress in fact the water ingress was so bad i can remember in winter time i used to step obviously inside the front passenger side and my feet would literally slide on the carpet because there was a layer of ice on 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 the floor absolutely horrendous water ingress it also suffered quite badly from a drive shaft coupling that drive shaft coupling, I call them a donut, but they're kind of obviously quite a thick rubber coupling, which might be relatively unique to this type of car. Anyway, I think it's about time we reveal the new car. This car is going to be called, or is now called, well, the project, should I say, is called Project Hilda B. Now, bear with me on this one, everyone. There is a certain chap on a YouTube channel called Up and Down. Watch him all the time. He has one of these, he's got it in sort of a race prep format and his is called Hilda. Let me explain why mine is called Hilda because as much as I love the up and down channel and I hope to meet him one day, I've not copied him in any way, shape or form. This car is called Project Hilda B, B with a B E E, as in obviously the bzz B. I recognise that sound. It's called Project Hilda B, not to copy that channel. 
but because this car represents the first car that I would have traveled in that my late father owned and my mother's my late mother's name was Hilda so you can see where we're going with that now I'm gonna start with an elephant in the room or at least three elephants in the room everyone the original color of this was actually 137 which I think is fire brand red it's obviously not red now and a lot of imps to be fair have had color changes in their time I love the color but uh, as you'll see in a minute or it might not actually come up too much on camera but the paintwork the guy who's worked on this car he's obviously done a great job at putting new panels on like new inner and outer front wings new sills arches etc he's not a painter with the greatest respect to him so i would call the finish sprayed on hammerite so early next year i'm going to take it to a trusted body shop and uh well i guess they've got three options it depends what they can do to it maybe they can just give it a good mop maybe it needs rubbing back or maybe it just needs a repaint either of those three i'm prepared to do of course because it's my car at the end of the day also the doors are a very slightly different shade but the car is solid now obviously it's sporting are they called mini lights jbw mini light wheels or mini light type wheels again many imps have got those and i love them but i think they're shod with um chinese type tires also on the interior the interior is pretty much standard except for and again it's a popular thing on imps the seats now this is probably partly to do with the fact that seats are probably not particularly readily available anymore for the imp everyone but also because well changing the seats can make it a lot more comfortable so as you'll see these have got i think they're pretty much new ford fiesta seats it's also had a front disc uh disc brake conversion done which again i think is off a of fiesta should we have a quick look around hilda b i am going to do a full review or should i say no not a review we'll do a full story about the imp although there's a couple of good videos on youtube already that do a good sort of overview of the story of the hillman imp which i think was launched in 1963 and its demise was 1976 but we'll do that in a separate video anyway, all of our own. In the meantime, let's have a quick look around Hilda B. So the chrome work generally is very good. Needs a little bit of polish. I've got some polish coming. These are correct for a Mark III imp, the side trims and the badging. Now the plates, if anyone wants to say that them plates are incorrect because they're black and silver, my understanding is 1973 some date in 1973 i'll put it at the bottom of the video now everyone is when those uh number plates could no longer be used so i'm not going to sit here or kneel here behind the camera and say to you that it would have come with those when it was new but they are correct for the year still because you can have those until um 1973 and this car is in 1972 and i just think it looks lovely against the gray metallic what do you reckon everyone please leave me your thoughts in the comments below would you change them to the sticky out white and yellow or would you keep them as they are i'll let you into secret i'm keeping them as they are but you can let me know in the comments what you think anyway now i personally love the style of the imp it's kind of what you would have drawn as a kid isn't it really sort of what you call a small free box design of course the imp was meant to compete with the mini which of course it never really successfully did at all however very characterful 875 cc engine mounted at the rear sounds absolutely lovely I'll, I'll put something on the video now just to give you what it sounds like this is an imp starting That little rear silencer, giving it a distinctive note. I love it. I just think they look absolutely lovely. At the rear, you literally have a lift up, but you call it, I guess, an early version of a hatchback. Let's go and have a quick look inside. We'll do a fuller review in another video. So, in here, if you can see with the lighting, the person that's that's basically did this as a as a lockdown project in 2020 he's done a great job and he's, he's finished it lovely with carpeting etc now i know some imps had a door bin at the moment i still don't know enough about the imp history to know whether it was just posher imps that had the door bin or not or whether it's a single chamois my dad had a single chamois you see so we remember when i said earlier on in the video it was the same car but actually had a different make and a different model single chamois was i think colloquially or whatever the word is known as a posh imp but either way it was basically an ilman imp just that my father's had twin headlamps and some little extra niceties 
So here we have the lighter dash. Now, many pre many people, should I say, prefer the Mark 1, Mark 2 dash, which is much more simple. I get that. I had to have this dash because it's a dash that was in my my late father's Singer Chamois. Had to be done. So as you can see, I've got a humble six gallon tank, if you can read that. We've got a temperature gauge. That is an ignition light, an oil pressure light. And as you can see, and we've not been able to prove anything different, she's only showing 37,775 miles. Correct steering wheel. Some very simple heater controls, if you can see them down there. Ashtray, if the sun's gonna allow me to show you. This here is for the interior fan. This is for the part lamps and headlights. That, if you turn it, puts the wipers on. If you push it, it's obviously a manual suction, whatever you want to call it, to put the washer, to put the water onto the windscreen. It's a four speed box and reverses over to the left and back. And to be honest, considering the linkage has to go all the way to the back of the car, it's working really well. I have just treated Project Hilter with this stuff because the local garage deals with classic cars that I cannot believe I found is exactly three minutes from the uh, storage garage that Project Hilda will be living in. Can you believe it? You sometimes just don't know what's around the corner, do you, everyone? He recommended putting some of that in. Now, it's normally 50 mil, but because Project Hilda B's tank is only six gallons, it's only had 25 mil. We'll see if that helps at all. Now, Posher Imps had a glove box here. This one, of course, has just got a space, but again, it's been nicely carpeted. And if you can see in there, there is, with a switch, a USB and a 12 volt connection that's been put in there. Also, if you're familiar with IMPS, you'll know that the very modern, of, at its time, aluminium engine was prone to overheating. So the, the person who was a, a garage owner, as in garage mechanic owner, uh, has fitted an electric fan just to help keep the imp cool which is really 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 nice or really really cool even yes i always try and keep a fire extinguisher in the car so it's all new carpeting but it's been done really well yes i have checked under the carpet and the floors are new so there's no problems as far as that's concerned and then we have the ford fiesta seats with headrests and they're extremely comfortable in the rear again slightly modified ford fiesta rear seat but again all nicely carpeted i'm sure you'll agree and the headlining which you would expect at 50 years might be a bit tired is looking very good indeed let's look under the bonnet now do you call it the bonnet or a front boot because we're going to do the front boot first the handle for which is hiding here i seem to remember on my father's single shamwa i'm sure it was a key actually outside but anyway now i'm going to start straight away by admitting that i don't know whether that is an additional reservoir because of the brakes or not i'm guessing that one will be clutch otherwise and one will be brakes yes you're allowed to laugh on camera everyone i've not researched it enough yet but as you can see under the front boot as i would call this there's new inner and outer front wings and therefore looking very tidy and although the tires aren't the best and i think they're chinese the guy has put a new one on the standard imp wheel what he's also done which i'm very grateful for is because these mini lights or mini light type wheels have got chrome nuts on as you can see there he has left the correct four nuts if you needed to use this wheel which i thought was a nice touch it's quiet here isn't it so to open the rear and look at all this lovely 80, 875 cc powertrain we just lift the rear up now what can I explain here? It's had new hoses. As I've said already, it's got an electric fan at the back. It's had an alternator upgrade. It just looks very solid. But I'll let the camera show you and you decide for yourself. As I say, at the time of filming this car this afternoon is going into a, a classic car specialist. One that's renowned in the area, even though I wasn't aware it was there, everyone. And three of the guys are, as they famously quote on their poster inside their little office, it famously quotes that the three guys are as old as the cars that they're working on, and that absolutely works for me. That's one imp engine bay, everyone. If you spot anything that you're not sure of, or you think is wrong, 
let me know in the comments. Very clean. There's a tiny bit of smoke on startup when it's cold, but it doesn't smoke at all when we're driving along. But we're gonna get checked over anyway. So with the noisy truck behind us, I think I'm gonna end the video there, everyone. That is my reveal of our new car joining the fleet, a Hillman Imp. I'm gonna do that bit again when the van's not there. I can almost cope with the truck, but I'm not coping with the van as well. Where was I? I'm gonna end that video there, everyone. That is our reveal of another car on the channel again. This time, it's a very important to me at least, Hillman Imp, name project Hilda B. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, why not give us a thumbs up? It does tell YouTube algorithms it's a good video and more people should watch it. And if you're not subscribed, why not look for a link? It'll be above my head in a few moments. Tractor name. Recycling and tractor. Forestry centers are peaceful, aren't they? Please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free to subscribe everyone, but it really does show your support and it does help build the channel. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. See you soon.